Okay, so the tools that you'll need is this tool, this tool, either vinyl, I'm actually using um, window cling right now for mine, and a mat. Mine is the 12 by 12 mat, but you can choose a larger one since, you know, doormats are larger, but I do not have them at this time. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new page on Cricut. You're going to go over to the text function, click the text function, and then write in your word. I'm going to use believe. because I'm doing a holiday theme. So once you have believe, you can um, leave it as is. I added um, a Christmas tree instead of the letter I. So if you're going to do something like that or you're gonna add a character or something, you're gonna go on over to your images function. In the top, I'm gonna type in Christmas tree then I'm selecting the free one, this top one right here, and you're gonna insert image. So now that it's inserted, I have it here. They're two separate entities, correct? I have believe and the tree. We're going to make them connect and uh, be together. However, first I'm gonna click, collect, uh, click believe, sorry, and then you're gonna come over here and click um, ungroup, sorry, weld functions. So see how all the letters are separate now? On believe, now I can move these over. So I'm, I'm gonna move the E over a little bit. I'm gonna move it over eight spaces, then everything else eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna get rid of the I, so you can click the red X or hit delete on your keyboard. And then I'm gonna bring over the Christmas tree and now it still doesn't fit. So I'm gonna move these over again so it fits. One, two, three. One, two, three, and I want them all even. But you can play around with your lettering however you would like. And I have to do it one more time. Um, you can move the letters up, down, you can have them touching each other, whichever you would like. So I still need to move it over a little bit. So I'm going to do two more each. Okay, so the Christmas tree is my eye. Now since they're all ungrouped, what I'm going to do again is now I'm going to weld them. So. You're going to weld them by hitting this function here. And now it is all one piece. But to make a stencil and have it cut out of the doormat area, we're gonna show you next. So what you have to do next is you have to make a shape. So go to the shapes function and I'm gonna do square for our doormat. So I have a 12 by 12 mat. So I'm going to probably do like 11 and a half by 11 and a half or 10 so it fits. So I'm going to send the doormat, the square piece to the back. You're gonna hit arrange up top and send to back. So then this piece can come up here, but I want it to fit inside. So I'm going to make it smaller by just clicking and dragging the sides. Okay. To select believe and the doormat, you could select believe, hit shift and hold it down and then hit the square function, or you can click and dra drag the entire image. So once, once I selected both items, I'm gonna come on over to slice. You're gonna hit slice, okay? So then watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take away these layers. Oop. Did it slice it? Why aren't you slicing? Oh, 
there, there it goes. I sliced it. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't clicking. So you're going to hit slice and then you're going to click and drag these layers off. Okay. And then you want to cross these out. So X that one and X this one. So now you have your believe. Okay. Just like what you're going to see on the doormat. So then you would go and click make it. And you do not want to mirror it. And here's your believe on the mat. So you're going to, you know, insert your mat as you would any Cricut. You would hit continue. And then I have to collect, uh, connect my maker and whatnot. But that's what you would do to make your stencil. And you put your materials inside then you would use your tools to take out the little letters. I use this tool and this tool. Woo, here I am. Okay. 